EV was formed in 2012, and back then we saw a need in the Malaysian market. All video services catered for only smartphones, but we're talking about 2012. Smartphone penetration is low in Malaysia. In the beginning, we do not really concentrate on apps because we wanted to deliver a video experience uh, with just one click from the user. And an app will be a barrier to entry, and users will need to install that app to be able to enjoy the video service. We don't see the need for that. What we did was we actually deliver a near-app experience without the need of even installing an app. And so we started building up this platform to enable non-smartphones to stream video content. And we could cater up to 90% of the phones in the market. And we then fill up this platform with the best local content. We launched our services and it just kicked off. Within the first year of our launch, we managed to achieve more than 1 million users almost immediately. In my opinion, uh, Malaysia is actually a multicultural society. We are made up of uh, Malay, Chinese and Indian. And uh, on top of that, we have people from uh, Indonesia, from uh, Bangladesh, right? people from Philippines that are working in Malaysia. So these uh, markets are really underserved, right? because most of the content of what they can get are purely in English. Uh, we think that uh, with this type of local content, uh, they will actually uh, find the service interesting. We plan to take the same success that we have right, and the recipe for success and replicate it in all the countries in Southeast Asia. I think being an entrepreneur anywhere is difficult, but it makes it a whole lot easier if you have a good team supporting you and sharing the same passion with you. I think for Southeast Asia and Malaysia in particular, this region has a lot of potential upside because we actually have a huge population, 1 billion people. And, and right now, 280 million uh, mobile subscribers and it's still growing. We are reiterating new ideas, thinking far ahead in the future. Five years from now, I mean, what do we want to do? I do want to share my experience being an entrepreneur and I hope to actually see my staff being entrepreneurs one day and I could be like the silent investor and that would really make me really proud.